So I meet the baby Zuna. Okay, so he's he's kind of famous. She's very famous last. Yeah, so he's come up with this new book. It's called Captain and Season. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. I read his book. Uh, this is Fight Through Cartoons. This is what he's been doing. Um, this is his autobiography, actually, more or less. Uh, talking generally his story about how he, you know, fought the establishment to get his cartoons out there to Malaysians. And basically, his cartoons were a view of the current political climate or what was, what used to be the current political climate of Malaysia. Oh, okay. Here we go. I just, this is what I meant in your office would be like. <laughs> I love this place. Look at it. Look at this. This is my favorite. When you have talent, that means God given talent. And you are a very special person when you got this talent. And this, this cartooning talent is very, very powerful. Everywhere now, uh, cartoon becomes so effective. Until they are, they are, many government have to take action against cartoonists. For me, I need to understand that when I say talent is not a gift, it is a responsibility. It means that it's not a gift for you to use for your own benefit. Sometimes we need to sacrifice. As most of the time, in my case, I need to sacrifice. I need to face all these things because this is my responsibility and I won't stop. What what drew you to cartoons? I mean like, you know, you, you started drawing at the age of 12, you submitted yes. your cartoon to Bambino. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so what drew you to cartoon? I mean, like I said, I, I got this talent, this is a passion in me to draw. I, I draw everywhere. In the school uh, wall, or I, I, I read the John thing there. In the, all the books, exercise book, mathematics, or what, oh. I've already drawn. <laughs> 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 of course, yeah. Right? So I, this is this is my passion, and and I took science. I didn't take art. Why? Because my late parents say, you know, you want to be a cartoonist. How do you make a living? You took science. Sign, at least you can be scientists, you can be doctors. That that was the imagination <laughs> of the parent during that time. I took science, but I still keep continue to draw uh, all the time from twelve, age twelve until university. But I drop out like, and didn't finish university. You didn't tell your parents for six months huh, that you dropped out of university. Ah uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Did they, how did they find out? <laughs> Of course, finally they had to they, they find it oh, out. Lah. So my first job is in the hospital actually. So I do report, I do tests, and uh, but still draw at night. I got start, started to got a column during that time in the oh. Gila Gila magazine. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. At one point, I got many. I, I got four columns. My first cartoon was published when I was twelve. It is a normal cartoon, but my first cartoon was banned when I was seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, school magazine where I criticize teachers. My cartoon is about what I think rather than what I see. What makes me satisfied? Yeah, I, I, my satisfaction is about like this. It's not about how much money I get. I don't get money. I don't get much money. I'm the the, the I'm the poorest cartoonist in Malaysia. <laughs> I don't get. Yes, I, 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 I can declare that. But again, what makes me satisfied is when people come to see me and say, thank you for your cartoon. Uh, now I understand Malaysian politics more. And this is eye-opener, this is mind-opener. Mm. Sometimes I can cry. Sometimes I cry because of that. Because this is really, really what I want. I want to change people's uh, perspective. I have a mission. Mm. Last time, the mission was to save a nation. 
and now to rebuild the nation. Thank you.